On the first Saturday in January, all around the country, there's a national kickoff, and all the teams receive their kit of cards, and they're told what the game will be for this year. Then they have 42 days to design, build, test, and ship a robot that weighs about 120 pounds. There are 36 regionals around the country. This is one of those regionals. The teams compete, and some of the winners go on to the national championship, which will be held in Atlanta in April. I am Brian Clegg from Indianapolis, Indiana. Woo, go Hoosiers. Um, our robot this year is called Henry VIII. Uh, we're just purely a tube scorer, and we're going to go out there and we're going to score as many tubes as we can. We're going to do it lightning fast, and then hopefully we're going to get on somebody's ramp. Our robot uh, will hopefully do well. Uh, we have some pretty good drivers out there, uh, and we can pretty much do almost anything except uh, have a ramp. Uh, our robot is based on scoring points on the ramp design, and it's also a defensive design. So we're going to play the entire game blocking the other team from scoring, and then at the very end deploy the ramps and hopefully score 60 points by getting the other two robots on us. Our robot this year is Afterthought. This year, uh, this year at the competition, we're hoping to make a win like all the other teams. Hope to do good. Hope all the other teams do good. No problems happen. Let's have a good regional. This year, we look to try and do everything. Um, we have a boon to lift up uh, the inner tubes onto the rack, um, and we also are trying to lift up other robots. We have successfully lift up other robots, but it seems the hardest part in that is getting the other robots onto it. But we do have the capability to lift up two robots at once, which is very exciting. Our robot is the RoboDog, and it has two ramps, an arm, and we hope to do really good in this year's competition. A robot, it's very basic. It just picks up the tubes and like puts it onto the racks. That's pretty much what it does. And it blocks where it needs it. Our robot has the capability of reaching all three goals with an arm with a pivot at the wrist. And we have the ability to hold two robots on our ramp, both at the 12-foot position and the 4-foot position. I'm hoping to learn more about robotics and see how this robot is going to do since we've been working tweaking it a little bit since this morning. My hopes are that our robot will be able to pick up ringers, and we've learned a lot this season, so we hope to see it, our robot successful. My hope for the robot at this competition is to be able to successfully pick up the ringers and score on the rack, as well as successfully climbing up a ramp and staying there. This year we have a robot that uh, has two sliding decks that come out. One kneels down to form a ramp so people can drive up. We can lift uh, two robots up to 12 inches, which gets us 60 points at the end of the match. We're a ramp, and our design is to get two, ramp, two robots up us over 12 inches high. Uh, pretty much we just open up to be a ramp, and hopefully we'll be able to win every match that we are in.